welcome everyone. Weddings often start with the words, dearly beloved. I always say that refers to all of you. You are dearly loved. We are gathered here today to witness and bless the marriage of Alfonso and Rochelle as they join in holy matrimony. My name is Reverend Brad and it is truly my privilege and honor to be here today and officiate the ceremony. As Alfonso and Rochelle wanted this moment to be special, they're really grateful to you, their family, for being here with us today, helping them celebrate the start of their new lives together as soon to be husband and wife. Why don't we start right now? Oh, you hold free up one hand. Don't get too close. You're not married yet. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having a mutual sense of values and objectives. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the family. I want you to both stop for a moment, look behind you and out here. Here is our, our mini circle of love. And I like how he uses that word, demonstrate your gratitude. It's kind of saying a thank you is not enough. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere which each can grow. It's finding room for things of the spirit. It's the common search for the good and the beautiful. And I like the last two lines. He says, it's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. So love is obviously an important ingredient in a successful marriage. And 1 Corinthians 13 certainly talks about the importance of love. And I'd like to read a few verses. I want you to look at each other in the eye. I'm going to ask Alfonso that you go first. Repeat after me. I, Alfonso, take you, Rochelle. I, Alfonso, take you, Rochelle. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I promise to walk by your side forever. I promise to walk by yourself forever. To love, help, and encourage you. To love, help, and encourage you. In all that you do. In all that you do. I will take the time. I will take the time. To talk to you. To talk to you. To listen to you. To listen to you. And to care for you. And to care for you. I will share your laughter. I will share your laughter. As well as your tears. As well as your tears. As your partner, husband, and best friend. As your partner, husband, and your best friend. Wonderful. Rochelle, are you ready to say your vows? So a ring is a fitting symbol for a wedding promise. It's a circle without beginning nor end. And love without end is what we want in marriage. So as often as you both look upon these rings, I hope you will always be reminded of the vows you have just spoken and are about to make. But let us bow our heads and bless these rings. Teach them whenever they look on these symbols of affection to remember this moment, this prayer, this gathering of family, and your presence blessing them, surrounding them with goodness, and protecting them from harm always. Amen. Amen. Alfonso, take this ring. Place it on Rochelle's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you, Rochelle. I, sh I choose you, Rochelle. To be my wife. To be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. Nice. Rochelle, take this ring, place it on Alfonso's finger, and repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token of my love and devotion. In token of my love and devotion. With my heart. With my heart. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. All that I am. All that I am. With this ring, with this ring I, marry you, I marry you and choose you, Alfonso, choose you, Alfonso. as my husband. Slide it off. <laughs> may you have happiness and may you find it making one another happy. And may you have love 
and may you find it loving one another. So, Alfonso and Rochelle. Because you have committed yourselves to each other in marriage and demonstrated this by the exchanging of vows and by the exchanging of rings before God, witnesses, and myself, by the power vested in me by the state of New York, it is both my privilege and truly my honor to officially pronounce you husband and wife. Alfonso, you may kiss your bride. Yay!